Welcome to moreforlife.com, I'm Michael Moore. In this video, we're going to be working with Claudia. Claudia's in her 50s and prefers a makeup look that's pretty simple. We're going to create a look for her that's clean and fresh and something she can do every day. It won't take her long to apply. In part one of Claudia's application, we're going to start with concealer and foundation, add some color to her brow. Let's get started. So this is Claudia. Claudia is a 51 year old uh, friend of mine who happens to be a writer. With her lifestyle, um, she's a very active woman. She likes to be outside in the Colorado weather a lot. She also likes to be in front of groups at times. She is, as I said, a writer, so she is presenting herself and she's talking. She's being seen at trade shows and all that kind of stuff with her um, books. She likes to keep things very simple and very clean and very fresh. She's also very concerned about making sure that uh, the products that she uses do not make her look older as well. So when I look at Claudia, a few things stand out to me right off the bat. The readiness right down through the middle of the face, which is actually going to be her broken capillaries, um, maybe a little bit of rosacea possibly. And then we also notice just like a little, I'm gonna turn your head this way, a little bit of unevenness of the tone right through here. And so what we're going to do is we're just going to even that up but we're going to be using something a little bit different uh, we're going to start off with concealer looking at claudia if you notice something go ahead and close your eyes for one second notice that there's a little bit of darkness that resides underneath her eye go ahead and open now and what we're going to do is we're going to take a concealer and we're going to apply the concealer from the inside of the ocular cavity all the way through to the ocular bone this is going to give her a, a simple freshness to her face really quickly i'm actually using a polymer based concealer as i said claudia is 51 years old you know when we get into our 50s and 40s and 30s we're starting to notice some lines appearing on the face so when i'm using a polymer based concealer i do not want something that's going to fall into the lines and that's one thing i love about the polymer based and you instantly see a brightness to her eyes and one thing i've always said about claudia she has amazing amazing eye color so she actually has wonderful gold greens and auburns in her eye. Just take your finger very lightly and tap that into place and it will stay put all day long for you. Once again, three little dots underneath your eye with your concealer brush, blending from the inside out, taking that right up underneath your eyelash line. So for a quick and simple look on Claudia, she could do this really easily. Just going to run some errands, going to have a meeting, anything she wants to do like that. So now what we're gonna be doing is a BB cream. BB creams are very big right now. What I love about a BB cream is they're basically everything you need all in one. So what they're going to be is they're gonna be a foundation, they're gonna be an anti-aging, they're gonna be an SPF of 30, they're gonna be a moisturization all in one. So all you need is about one to two pumps of this over the whole face. It does have her SPF of 30 that is chemical free, which I love. And we're gonna start right into the nose area and blend it across the face. And you can see instantly how this takes that redness right out of her nose, but it's also giving her a lot more benefits to her face as well. So she's got her peptides, her SPF, her moisturization, argiline in this that actually helps with any brown spots or discoloration on the face. It's like the one hit wonder. I'm just using my fingers for this because I really like to use my fingers with this because it really molds it and moisturizes it and pushes it right into the surface of the skin. Make sure that when you are using your SPF that you're getting your SPF everywhere it needs to go. Do not think that sun cannot get through hair fringe. So what you see is a nice even tone to Claudia's skin. We don't see the discoloration or the rosacea or the broken capillaries. And it doesn't really even look like she's got a lot of foundation on her face at all. And um, a lot of people might remember there's things called tinted moisturizers that a lot of people have used in the past. And so I always like to say this is like a tinted moisturizer on steroids. If you ever feel like this is just setting on the surface of your skin, just take your hands, warm them up, and press them into the face. This is great for any sort of liquid or cream foundation you're putting on the face. This will take away that foundation-y look and really make sure that it looks just like skin. So now on Claudia, we're gonna start at the top of the head and we're gonna move on down. One thing I love about Claudia is she has amazing 
absolutely amazing eyebrows. And you can tell by the little blue swoop in the hair and the hair color here, she colors her hair and she likes to have fun with it. But if we look at her eyebrows, her eyebrows are actually more of an ash tone where she's got a lot of redness in the hair. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually use just a little bit of an eyebrow powder here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add this color to the eyebrows so the eyebrows and the hair look like they all belong to the same person. You can tell the difference right now. You see that the warmth of this matches this where there is the ash tone here that looks like it's really fighting the natural hair color. So what I love about this look right now, Claudia can choose this look and just do this on a daily basis just to go run her errands, feel really great, feel very finished about herself. Because what I love about her eyelashes, she's got these big, beautiful eyelashes that really give her a lot of definition. She's not a woman who really needs mascara on a daily basis to look alive and look awake. That's it for part one of Claudia. To see her transformation continue, check out Claudia part two right here on moreforlife.com. Thanks for watching.